The family of Canada's 18th Prime Minister, guests of honour in Parliament, a place Brian Mulroney knew so well, leading the country for nearly a decade. Now rise and observe a moment of silence. This tribute in front of Brian Mulroney's widow Mila and their four children, Nicholas, Mark, Ben and Caroline. Brian Mulroney's principles helped shape this nation and the world. The Prime Minister described his last meeting with Mulroney. We talked about wisdom that he and my dad both shared, that leadership fundamentally is about getting the big things right. Politicians reflected on his legacy, negotiating NAFTA, protecting the environment, and standing up against apartheid in South Africa. He recognized that the diversity of our country makes us a richer and stronger nation. Brian Mulroney quite literally saved all life on earth when Canada stood up and organized the Montreal Protocol and saved the ozone layer. The Conservative leader says he sought advice from Mulroney and says his phone calls were a gift. In fact, for Brian Mulroney, phone calls were like an art form, using the, the, the telephone the way Michelangelo might have used a chisel or a brush. He would do it to make business deals charm foreign leaders, and more importantly, to comfort grieving or suffering friends. Afterwards, Mulroney's sons gave thanks of their own. For us, sitting up in the gallery and hearing everybody speak so positively, probably not what he was used to, uh, but he would have loved it, and we did as well. We're truly honoured from all of the people across the country uh, and internationally that have taken the time to reach out to uh, say nice things and words of support. Dignitaries and the public can pay their own respects to the Mulroney family on Tuesday as the former Prime Minister lies in state near Parliament Hill. Ashley Burke, CBC News, Ottawa.